Hey guys, so I have this Grinch mug that I got at Hobby Lobby. It was $13.99, not including the 60% off holiday merch deal they had going on at that time. And then I got this tumbler, a little Grinch tumbler that I actually got. It came in a gift set. And today I'm going to show you how to turn these plain cups into beautiful gifts just in time for Christmas that are going to look like you spent days working on them so if you are a last minute gifter like me i know i try to say every single year i'm not gonna wait till last minute but somehow i end up in this situation and you have nothing to gift so i'm gonna show you how to make these gifts super super cute that it's gonna look like you spent a whole lot of time decorating them for that special someone so I'm going to begin by bedazzling out the mug. I have a mixture of red rhinestones ready to go. I'm going to be using E6000 glue. You can buy it at Walmart, Target, or any craft store. If you do come upon this E6000 glue, that comes with tips. I highly recommend it. It makes life so much easier when you have to apply the E6000 glue to smaller sections like you see here. And if you don't get it, it's completely fine. I will show you what to do with your regular tube of E6000 glue in just a minute. So as you can see here, I began placing the E6000 glue on the letters. That is a part of the mug that I'm going to be bedazzling. So if you do have a little bit of excess glue, you can go ahead and wipe it off with a little toothpick like I just did right there and begin bedazzling. So it's very, very important before you get ahead of yourself. Do not go and place glue on every single letter. Work by sections because your glue will dry out. So as you can see here, I just placed it on one letter and I began bedazzling it. And I'll do that as I go throughout the letters. So I am using a mixture, like I said, of red rhinestones. I am mixing it up, making sure I do stay in the lines. Do not go over because you do not want to lose the shape of the letters. So you saw how easy that was. I literally took not even an hour to do this mug. Remember, ladies, these are last minute gifts, but we're going to make them look beautiful. Whoever you give them to are going to be like, what? How long did it take you to do this? This is so cute. You know, I if you're like me. I love to give personalized gifts. I love my gifts that I'm giving to mean something, you know, to be special, to be the best gift that person is going to receive. So this shows how much you care for that person, you know, even though it's not going to take you that long to do. It shows that you took some type of effort and time for that person, you know, to make a gift for them. And guess what? You don't even have to use vinyl because the cups are already coming like this, you know? So it just makes life so much easier. You can buy a cup at 99 cent store, at Walmart, anywhere. And they already come prepped with letters or, you know, designs like these. And all you have to do is bedazzle them. You don't have to worry about, you know, going to your Cricut machine and printing stuff out. Just buy a mug like this. Last minute gifts, guys. Remember and bling it out it's gonna look super cute guys so as you can see here i place glue once again on this letter and just the letter because you know the glue is drying fast so you want to have enough time to bedazzle it and make it look super super cute so that is the same thing i'm gonna be doing for the rest of the word so yeah like i was telling you guys you can just run to the store get a cup get a mug get a tumbler Bling it out and then you can even turn it into a little gift basket. Throw a gift card in there, some lottery tickets, some candy, whatever you want. And then it's going to come out even more cuter. So yeah, just go ahead and use your E6000 glue, but dazzle it. And like I told you guys, if you do not find that glue with the tips, you can go ahead and get a little piece of paper or something. Put a bit of the E6000 glue. Remember to put your lid back on it. You don't want it to spill everywhere. Get a little toothpick and spread it across your letter evenly. Make sure it's not too bulky. You know, the layer is not too thick. And then spread it around. Stain your lines. If you do go over it, like I said, get a 
clean toothpick, not the one you're using to spread the glue, and wipe off the excess amount of glue and keep on bedazzling. No problem, like I told you guys, if you didn't find that one with the tip, 36,000 glue with the tip, completely fine, guys. And then and there you go. So this is how the top half of the mug came out with the A6000 glue. It's super, super cute, guys. I love it. And so and now I'm going to do the bottom half, but this time I'm going to be using epoxy. So if you do have it, I highly recommend for you to use the epoxy. It will last even longer than this E6000. E6000 works very, very well, but I just want that durability, guys. It just, like, triples it, you know what I mean? So, if you do have it, I highly recommend it. If you don't, don't worry about it. Just use the E6000, and your rhinestones are still going to be intact. So, as you can see right here, I mixed it up. I did half of each mixed it up and now I am spreading it on my letters so since this is epoxy and it gives me much more time it is a 30 minute epoxy I can add it to more than one letters and then begin bedazzling if you do put a little bit of excess like I did you can just wipe it off with a q-tip very important guys though right now that it is really fresh and wet do watch your rhinestones and you can wipe off the excess with q-tips but once the epoxy starts drying up and it's getting a little bit harder do not use a q-tip because the hairs from the q-tip are going to start getting stuck on the glue and it's going to give you a whole nother problem or you can also use like the the little baby q-tips that are way smaller and they're more you know defined but yeah like i said do use a toothpick once the epoxy starts drying up because you do not want those little hairs stuck onto your glue. So, I did the first letter. Now I'm going to do the second one, doing the same thing, but dazzling it, making sure my little gaps are filled in. All the rhinestones stay in the letters. I do not want them overlapping the letters. Double check your work, guys. Very important. Like I said, the epoxy does tend to run. The E6000 glue is just going to stick on wherever you place it. So, it's optional, guys. I would highly recommend epoxy if you do have it. But E6000 works just fine, guys. You know, this is last minute gifts, like I said. Okay? So, there you go. Look, I am done with this cup. Literally less than an hour, guys. Last minute gifts. Here you go. Your solution. Super, super cute, guys. Look at this. So now I'm going to be working on the tumbler. This is a stainless steel tumbler. It comes with the lid that opens and closes. And then I have my rhinestones ready to go and these little present buttons I got at Hobby Lobby. So the back of these is actually um, a little bit bumpy. So if you do go straight and try to put them onto the cup you see right there. Um, it's going to be blocking it and it's going to pop off. So I did go in with my nail drill and filed the back part off. You can use a regular file. If you do file down some of the color in the back, that is totally fine because it's going to be glued onto the tumbler anyways. So it doesn't matter. And you can use your E6000 glue if you would like to place everything on or epoxy that is completely up to you. For the buttons, though, I am going to be using epoxy just to make sure they are extra secured. So I went on ahead and mixed some of that epoxy. So with my toothpick, I'm going to go ahead and place some epoxy around the front of the tumbler to place the presents first. So as you can see there, I'm placing it. I am twisting the toothpick a little bit to make sure the epoxy does not spread out and just go everywhere and then i'm gonna spread it out a little bit to the size of the presents so they can nicely stick on so i'm just placing them around it's only six of them so that's why i am only placing them on the front and like i said this is optional you can just go in with regular rhinestones with your e6000 glue and then, you know, keep it simple. 
So right here you can see I am placing more epoxy around the cup just here and there randomly where I am going to be placing my rhinestones. So now for the tumbler, I do have a mixture of red rhinestones and green rhinestones. And I'm going to go ahead and place those randomly around where I did place the glue, the epoxy. So as you can see there, I'm mixing them up different sizes all around. Like I said, this is last minute gift, guys. So we do not have time to bling out this whole tumbler. That's why we are doing only random ones. We are in a rush. Christmas is a few days away. We still have more stuff to do, but we do want to make sure these presents are ready to go. So as you can see here, I am placing more epoxy randomly and then placing the rhinestones. But like I said, if you do not have epoxy, you can still use E6000. That is way easier to come by at Walmart, Target, your craft stores. So go ahead and use that. So if you do decide to use the E6000, you can go ahead and just use a toothpick also to spread your glue dots around the tumbler and then go ahead and decorate your cup with your rhinestones. So also remember guys, work by sections, it's very important. So you have enough time to place your rhinestones around your cup without your glue drying. This is a really quick DIY, so you probably could do about half the cup at a time without having to worry about your glue drying. But super, super simple, guys. DIY, a perfect Christmas gift, personalized, just for your loved ones. And so, yes, super, super quick, guys. And easy. So, these are my results, guys. Look how cute this tumbler came out. With the little presents and the rhinestones nicely spread out. Super, super quick and easy, guys. I can't stress that enough. This is the mug result. It came out so beautiful. It looks like I spent so much time doing it and it took me less than an hour. So, this is the result for both cups. They came out so cute, guys, and ready to give. So, like I said, if you are in a hurry, just run to the store. Buy a cup that's already, you know with vinyl and then bling it out so here's an example of what i was telling you guys you guys can turn it into a gift basket so i went in i threw some christmas candy in there i put some shredded paper and then i put more candy on top some little chocolate some grinch hershey kisses and then some little snowmans and santa clauses in the front as you can see there i stuffed it so it could hold up and then I put some gift cards that I just taped on to some skewers and then I put them in there. So there you go. Super, super easy guys. You don't have to worry about going and finding the perfect present because you can do one super quick now. So once the tumbler was done drying, I put it back into that gift set it came in and this was my results. This is my results for the mug super cute guys so now you know what to do if you are a last minute gifter i hope you guys have a wonderful beautiful christmas and i'll see you guys in the next video